start the motors in manual. As soon as you push the sticks up, she's ready to fire. If we compare that to normal or sports mode, nothing. I'm now at the halfway point, as if it were spring-loaded. Now the acceleration starts, or the thrust. Does it go up? Does it go down? Does it go left? Does it go right? Does it roll? Does it flip over? We're going to be discussing some very important settings before you get started switching from normal or sports mode over to manual mode. Are you ready? Let's get started. If you don't know what this drone will do when you push the sticks, then chances are you will crash this drone. So we're going to go over some of the differences between sports mode or what's called normal mode versus manual mode. Now, the manual mode that we will be talking about here is not fully manual. It's manual with the attitude toggle on. All that basically means is you'll be flying in manual mode. Yes, but with that green toggle on, when you push this stick to the right, the drone will not flip over to the right or when you push to the left it will not flip over to the left the same thing with forward and the same thing with backward it will go forward and back but will never flip you over manual mode with the attitude toggle on is what we're talking about today so let's get it straight you're not quite ready for full manual yet and this will help you understand how this drone will operate and will help you transition to full manual mode easier and faster. It's like driving a car. You would like to know what happens when you press the acceleration versus when you press the brakes. So that way you know what the car will do and you will know when to match the brakes and when to match the accelerator. Same thing here, same concept. So let's start with the left stick because the left stick is quite similar whether you're in normal mode or in manual mode. If you push the left stick to the left, the drone will basically spin like this and keep going around to the left on its axis. The same thing with the left stick. If you push it right, the drone will spin on its axis and spin around going right. Same thing whether you're in normal mode or manual mode. That's refreshing to know that the drone will operate the same way. And pretty much the same thing when you push the sticks up, the drone will go up. When you push the stick down, the drone will come down. And that's the same for normal and manual mode. Pretty much the drone on the left stick operates the same way. However, I have to caution you. When you are in manual mode, you will notice that unless this stick is all the way down, from the time you touch this stick and you start pushing it up, you start accelerating this drone to take off. Versus normal mode, when you start pushing the stick, you'll be like, hey, it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. It's still on the ground. It's still on the ground. Why is it still on the ground? It's until you get halfway, which is that new neutral point and then you start pushing up from the halfway point then the drone starts to accelerate start the motors in manual as soon as you push the sticks up she's ready to fire if we compare that to normal or sports mode nothing I'm now at the halfway point, as if it were spring-loaded. Now the acceleration starts, or the thrust. So yes, the up and down stick does the same thing, except in normal mode, your acceleration starts from the center, going up. Whereas in manual mode, it starts from the bottom, going all the way up. Actually, in manual mode, you have more range of motion, and that's something that you need to bear in mind. Other than that, the left stick is pretty much the same. What about the right stick? Well, the right stick is quite different. You see, in normal mode or sports mode, the right stick actually does a combination of things. So let me show you. If you push this stick to the right, not only will this drone lean right, but it will fly to the right. And if you push this right stick, to the left, not only will this drone lean left, but it will fly to the left. It actually does two things for you. It leans and it moves. It leans and it moves. 
So that's pretty cool. And the same for when you're flying forward. When you push the stick forward, the drone leans forward and flies forward. When you push it backwards, it leans back and it flies back. This stick just does multiple things for you. Now, when you switch it over to manual mode, this stick does something completely different. When you, when you push this stick to the right in manual mode, all this does is tilt the drone to the right. That's all it does. Doesn't, doesn't move the drone. It just tilts it to the right, stays right there. When you push this stick to the left, same thing. It just tilts the drone to the left. Does it fly to the left and fly off to the left? No, it doesn't. Just tilts to the left and it stays there. Same thing when you lean forward. It just leans forward and tilts forward and the drone stays right there. You pull the stick back, it tilts back and it stays right there. And now you're thinking, but wait a minute, if I just tilt the drone and it stays right there and it's not moving, isn't it going to drop? Yes, if you push this stick alone and that stick will just lean the drone to the light, to the right, it will still fall out the sky. If you lean it to the left, it'll, it'll tilt the drone left, but it will still fall out the sky. So in manual mode, you have double the job. Now you have to lean it or tilt it and while you're tilting the drone to the right you have to apply some thrust to move it right. You push the right stick to the left that will tilt the drone to the left and you apply some thrust to get it moving. So now a normal mode would do those things for you. When you push to the right it would lean the drone to the right and it will apply some thrust automatically but in manual mode you need to apply that thrust. So when you push right, the drone will just go right. How do you prevent it from falling out the sky? Add some thrust and that will move it on up. When you're going forward normally in normal mode, not only will the drone tilt, but it will fly forward because pushing forward here does two things. It leans it and it adds thrust automatically. But when you're in manual mode, remember you are in full control. So when you push forward, not only will the drone tilt forward, it'll fall out the sky unless you add some thrust and have it moving itself. So now you have to basically take control over the thrust and decide how much thrust you're going to apply, whether you're going forward, whether you're going backward, whether you're going right, or whether you're going left. Your thrust will determine full thrust or a little bit of thrust you decide depending on how much you push this left stick. Ain't that cool that you have more control? Now, there's one other thing that we need to talk about, and that's this gimbal. When you are first starting out to learn manual mode, you do not want this gimbal tilted all the way up because that means the drone will have to go like this and fly like this just to look straight ahead. You don't want that. You want a very shallow or a very small gimbal angle. So the drone only has to look a little bit for you to fly straight ahead. So if you're a beginner and you're now starting out in manual mode, 12 to 15 degrees or is about as much as you want to go. The higher the gimbal pitch, look how high I'll pitch the gimbal here, means the more the drone will have to lean just to see straight ahead and you don't want to be leaning this much straight ahead because you'll have to apply a lot of thrust to keep the drone from falling at this angle and you'll be flying through the air so essentially by keeping your gimbal angle low you're actually going to be flying slower automatically now that you know what to expect every time you push one of these sticks, take your DJI Avada, get out there and start flying in manual mode with the training wheels or what's called attitude mode turned on because you don't want your drone to flip over, right? Make sure that green toggle is on. Also, if you are wondering how to adjust the gimbal to the degrees, it's this little wheel above your left hand will adjust the wheel up and down. So when you first put your drone into manual mode by hitting this button all the way down, you will see the two sticks come out on the screen. That's when you tr take this wheel and you set your gimbal to about 12 or 10 or 15 degrees max, depending on how fast you want to go. And then you can adjust your sticks according to the green screen to get into manual mode. It's that simple. Now that you guys know what to do, 
it's time to get out there and fly your DJI Avada 2. I hope you watched my video last week and it gave you the confidence to fly in manual mode and to use the pause button in case you find yourself in trouble. These additional tips will help you fly and understand the drone even better. So when I release my second video coming up in another week or two, you will be ready for full manual so guys get out there practice hard make sure you hit subscribe make sure you hit like this video and give it a huge thumbs up make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when i release new videos if you're looking for LUTs for your DJI Avada 2, just head over to www.dronexfactor.com. You can get your LUTs right there. With that being said, think about becoming a patron. It's only $1 a month. That's $12 a year. If you need any additional help from me, just shoot me a text on Patreon. It comes straight to my phone. With that being said, I've got to run. I will catch you guys, well, in the next video. Happy flying. Learning flights with Zane.